In this video I'm going to show you how to find the coordinates of the foci when we know the equation of the lips or more specifically when we know the size of the major axes and we know the size of the minor axes. Okay so let's see if we can work out the distance from A and B from one foci to the curve and back to the other foci. Now if we remember our definition of an ellipse, that distance is constant all the way round, so it will be very useful. So the first thing we've got to realise is that the distance from F1 to F2 is going to be 2x if we say that they've got the coordinates x and minus x equal sides of the um, centre. So that gives us our first distance. Then we want to work out the distance from x to a. Well, a is a distance along, and so is x, so that total distance is going to be a minus x, because a is bigger. We've got to get back again, so that's another a minus x, so that's 2a minus x. So our total distance is going to be from f1 to f2, which we said was 2x, and then from f2 to a, and then from a back to f2. So we've got to do 2x plus 2a minus 2x, which means the total distance is 2a. So that's a really important piece of information, that the distance from one foci to the ellipse and back to the other one is twice the axes that F1 and F2 lie upon. OK, so let's find x. We know the distance from F1 to F2 is 2a. So because F1 and F2 are either side of the centre, we know the red line that I've drawn on there must be a single a. So we've got the height of the right angle triangle that we've got on the right of B and B. We've got the horizontal distance X that we want to find out. And we've got the hypotenuse is A. So using Pythagoras, that gives us B squared plus X squared equals A squared. And we can rearrange that to get X equals plus or minus the square root of A squared minus B squared. So we can use that formula every time to find the coordinates of the foci on the major axes. OK, so here's an example. So imagine we've got an ellipse and it's got the equation x squared over 49 plus y squared over 25 equals 1. Now, the 49 and the 25 are a squared and b squared, so that gives us that a equals 7 and b equals 5. So we saw um, in the last um, slide that we get the equation that x squared equals the square root of a squared minus b squared. So we've got x, sorry, um, x equals the square root of a squared minus b squared. So this is x equals plus or minus 49 over 25. So if we work that out, we get x is approximately um, plus or minus 4.9. So in our diagram, we'd have x, so f1 has the coordinates minus 4.90, and f2 has the coordinates um, 4.90. In the description below you can find a link to a worksheet that has questions that you can try on your own. I hope you found this video helpful. Stay in Infield with Winfield.